So I want to warn my reporters. I don't know that if they'll act like this in Utah, but in the case of Pittsburgh, and then they still arrested two days later. They're like, that's the one right there. He's like filming with all the press. They come and they pick him out. So they lost the lawsuit and take him to a center where they chained everyone down in the rain all night. And they did a bunch of other stuff to him that I've been asked not to mention, not to do, but to other people. I told part of it once and somebody got irritated. I mean, that's what they do. I know it's humiliating. I've been in juvenile before and, you know, had one of the jail guards try to have sex with me. I mean, this is what this is why they get these jobs. I mean, it's what goes on. Uh, but uh, one thing about this abuse is we have to say what they did. It's like if a woman gets raped, uh, you've got to come out about it. And it's the same deal. We have to admit the government's abusing us. That's why they act like it's a end of the world if you come and try to film their big illegal center. Because remember, up until the mid-90s, I would get criticized. People would say there is no NSA, there is no echelon. When James Bamford and others had gone public. And Wayne Madsen and others. And they just flip out like it's the end of the world. There's the footage, folks. They actually got the high-def footage. If you're watching us at Infowars.com forward slash show. Infowars.com forward slash show. Uh, you can see the master feed of the radio show and their live feeds synced together. Or you can just go to Infowars.com on the main page. And we have Infowars reporters at the NSA Center acting like we're a national security threat for being on the parking lot where the buses and stuff come in. It's a giant facility, you know, bigger than Mall of America on record. With them reading your emails, watching your webcam, harassing their girlfriends and wives, uh, mainly spying on economic data to give it to select globalist corporations. I mean, they're just in there committing millions of crimes a day. In fact, it's billions, because every time they do it without a warrant, it's a crime. And, and, and now they've had Senator... Um, Diane Feinstein come out two days ago and admit in a hearing, they always screw up and say classified stuff in public. That's what Dr. Bowman always talked about. The stuff he could admit about Star Wars and Black Mana and things were because the other people had blurted stuff out you know, in congressional hearings. She goes, of course the whole backbone's tapped. Of course we're listening. That's on record. And they're like, oh, man, that's classified. They're listening to everything criminally. And they're building giant motherships to spy on us, to dial into their imperial probe droids, smart meters, and iPhones, and droids, and computers, and washers, and dryers, everything with microphones and cameras, watching and listening to you on record. And then you can go on Google Maps, you could sit outside the entrance there and videotape that parking lot, and then the guard shack, and the, and the real entrance all day long. But they have to puff up and show up and act like, oh my gosh, national security, American citizens have shown up. No, no, it's dangerous to New World Order security that we're there shining light on you. And then the mystique is gone, everybody's not afraid anymore. And hey, go ahead and crush me. You know I'm all the way in on this. I'm an American. I'll die an American. I'm a good person with honor and courage and duty. I do defend the Republic. I am a soldier of the Republic. 110%, 18 years, 100% plus against the globalists. No fear. All these guys talk about no fear all day. It's a bunch of talk. It's not manly to go to a football game and get drunk and act powerful and bug your eyes out at people. It's manly to go expose the people raping our birthright of privacy and liberty and using the data against us on record to corner the economy and give it to offshore corporations. America is captured. And the sooner all these NSA people, man, I told you about Barton Springs and I'm going back to Anthony and his live feed. Our reporters there on the ground, pray for him, folks. <clears throat> I met Barton Springs about a month and a half ago and there's these two women and, and, and their husbands and they've all got criminal justice degrees and they're talking about how they work for the state and they work for the city. It was two women, three men. No, three women, two men. And one of them asked about the husband. She goes, well, what's he gonna do? He goes, well, he's going to the NSA center, the, the, or she said the data center uh, in San Antonio. And I went, oh, the NSA? And they all looked at me like I was nobody and went, huh. So, we're like, huh, look at you, you little nobody. Uh, and I looked at him and I said, listen, the Republic's rising again, and those are crimes being committed. And you better hope when we take the country back and we have Nuremberg trials that you and your husband don't get arrested. Do you understand that? And one guy started trying to bow up a little bit. And I just stood up to all of them and I didn't say anything. I'm like, you've been told what's going on. And they all, all those guys and their wives knew. They knew right there who I was. They knew right there they were cowards. They knew right there I wasn't scared of them.
one of the guys was a lot bigger than I am, started bowing up, and I was like, I got up. I was about to say, come on, come on, both of you. You don't got your badges and guns on right now. You punch me, I'll pull your arms out of your sockets. I'm sick of your crap. I'm sick of you raping my country. I'm sick of you shutting our country down. And I'm sick of you telling me how patriotic you are all day. I'm sick of you. I'm sick of it. Excuse me. Excuse me. I mean, folks, this is a normal response to being gang raped by foreign banks. They come out and say, oh, your washing machine has microphones in it in Wired magazine. And I'm supposed to not get upset by hearing a bunch of people getting off on how they're part of the in club spying on us illegally now. I'm sick of it. I'm, get off my back. Stop acting like you're above the law. Stop acting like you're God. You make me want to throw up. Anthony, I'm sorry I got really angry. I was flashbacks to that. Uh, Anthony, tell us, tell us, tell us what you went through, what it was like. Get back to your point. The Alex Jones Channel is the official page of the Info War, but don't miss what's happening on our other channels. The Info Warrior with the week's best videos. Prison Planet Live, where Paul Joseph Watson gives his expert analysis. And keep up with the rest of the InfoWars crew on our other pages. All of our videos are available to repost for educational purposes. See the sidebar of the Alex Jones channel for the subscription links. And remember, you can always find our videos in the highest quality by becoming a member of PrisonPlanet.tv.